All right, let's see. Um, what's up, guys? Gonna bring the chat up. I got two awesome, cool guests. If you saw, we had. Uh, I managed to stream to from the wrong account or connected to uh, the wrong account. That's why we had to do a little restart and uh, we dropped off for a bit. Don't worry. I got two awesome people with me today, though. Um, Patrick, you know, also uh, Elias the doctor, um, Elias baby sweetheart. Uh, maybe it's a new nickname for me. And then we got uh, our super awesome, cool friend, Laura. Um, do you guys want to introduce yourself? No. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can't do it. <laughs> well, uh, right. Yeah, I can. Okay. I can start. Um, I'm a game designer on Generation Zero. I joined the project, I think, last October, um, and I was QA back then. And then I changed to designer in at the beginning of this year. And my cat is running and jumping around this room, so I'm a bit distracted. <laughs> Should he come here? Yeah, maybe join the cat on stream for some extra bonus yes. points. Oh, you got some cat. Oh, look oh. at that. <laughs> oh my god, that's a cute yum, yum. kitty. And, and then we got Patrick. Patrick been on stream quite a lot of times, though. Um, yeah, yeah, I've been here a few times. Uh, so my name's Patrick. I'm uh, also a game designer. I joined the team back when the game uh, released. So I've only been on live at the moment. But uh, yeah, that's, that's me. So happy doctor, to have you here, though, both of you. Uh, oh, all we got three of us. Yeah, all three of you. Oh, what's the, what's the name of the cat? Can we get that uh, little jo introduction? Uh, her name is Jody. She's a British short hair cat, and she's two years old now. Awesome. She likes candy also and thumbs. Oh I yeah, she see. loves it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we got two uh, a lot of uh, known names in the chat though. Hey Mark. Hey Tenebri. Hey Suicide Kid. Scott, burger player. Oh, a lot of guys. Hey. Uh, Lucid also. Hey, Lucid. Thanks for spamming the dev thread earlier on, on the forums. Love that. <laughs> um, so what are we going to do today? I'm thinking of maybe continuing the, um, the Phoenix playthrough that I started. Um, maybe go and have a look. I got so many rivals, though. So maybe I should try to take out the rival or two can see what's this. The reason D667. Ooh. The peril of Boo. Oh no, that looks mean. Super mean. I think I started fighting this one last week, if I'm not mistaken. He didn't beat yeah. me though, so maybe not. Usually when I when I go see a rival, they kill me over and over and over. And then they evolve and get even meaner and kill me some more. Um, so let's see. So we started here. First question almost. Any word on the Phoenix Ryzen console release? Um, if you didn't see it, our super awesome product owner Paul uh, mentioned that in the letter from the devs that we're, uh, we had some console specific bugs that we wanted to uh, iron out before we started with that. Uh, and, we, and then the, the the process for console looks a bit different than to Steam. Pretty much when you're on Steam, you can just upload it, or not just upload it, but it's it's way more easier than, than console. And uh, with everything going on in the world, it takes a bit more time. But uh, believe me, as soon as you, as we know when it's gonna drop, you will know when it's gonna drop. Um, so don't you worry. So let's see, I need to change some weapons before we go hunting here. Do I have any ammunition? I don't think so. I don't. I don't. There's so much cat hair flying around. <laughs> <laughs> I hope no one can see Who it. Oh, you're waving at. So anyway, <laughs> since I got my super cool friends here, uh, make sure to ask them all the questions uh, that you got. And if they can't answer it, I probably can. Um, so go ahead. <laughs> Can you make the game smaller and make <coughs> Laura's cat cam full screen? <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we get some American guns? I don't know if there were that many American guns uh, in, in Sweden during the, the late 80s. So uh, there are probably other weapons that are more... 
I'd say maybe more um, what you would call it being able to see them in the game rather than maybe an M16 or something like that. Um, just saying. So let's see, uh, let's go. Uh, maybe I should just. Uh, well, I can start checking out here. There's apparently a weapon and collectibles here. I want collectibles. I like collectibles. Me too. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the Pontus 44 <laughs> revolver. <laughs> hey, when we we got the two game designers, when are we gonna see the 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 experimental uh, Magnus f uh, 44 called the Pontus 44? <laughs> it's uh, it's not me, but the community really really wants it, and you know who am I to <laughs> to tell them no? I'm pretty sure it was me who proposed that in the chat last week. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, I started that. Now we kind of have to do it. Yeah. I want to blow this up, though. Just for fun. So oh. where's that darn collectible, then? Where could it be? Yeah. Who hid it? Who? Uh, I'm guessing one of uh, one of you two guys made this camp. Mm, no. No. Actually, it was made by the uh, world designer on our on our team, uh, oh. Emil. But I'm thinking, like, maybe we should go through like uh, what Laura and I did for the this DLC. So yeah, please, please, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Laura, do you want to start? Uh, yes, it was actually me who hid the collectible. Was <laughs> it? That's what I did. That's the only thing I did. I hid collectibles. No, Could it be sure. up here? I... <laughs> Could it be oh, behind no, you... Veronica? No? You can't, no I have you to can't go up to the base, right maybe. Now. I think you have to advance a bit further in the game. Oh, and t oh all right. No spoilers, mm -hmm. though. I'm so happy you, you you at least told me and and not like no it's it's around <laughs> there somewhere keep looking hot 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 cold <laughs> <laughs> so no, what I, um, um, yeah go ahead what I us. did um so for for this uh, DLC um yeah one thing I did were the collectibles uh, we have ten new collectibles in the farmlands region that we revamped and then we have ten collectibles in the south coast that we revamped. Um, and I don't know how much I should spoil, not too much, of course. Um, in the, the, the farmlands collectibles are love letters. Um, and they were actually part of uh, this internal thing that we have called power up days, where sometimes we just have one or two days where we can kind of do whatever we want uh, when it is related to the game. So if there's something cool that we have in mind, um, we can kind of uh, look into that. And there was one group that was uh, writing love letters for the game, so something that could be related to the world. And then we actually put them into the game this time. And some of them were, were written, for example, by our producer. Um, so it's usually, usually you don't get content into the game when you're a producer. So it was really nice to be able to, yeah, have people make stuff for the game that, who usually don't see stuff in their game. So that was really cool. Awesome. No one ever sends me love letters, though. <laughs> oh no! So now I get now I get a bit sad. Now you you should collect them so you can uh, pretend they're for you. Oh yeah, I can do. We, oh, that's also super depressing, though. <laughs> 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 oh, so yeah, what did you do uh, with this, Patrick? Or or maybe Laura? Sorry if I. Cut oh yeah, off I wasn't there. done, but. <laughs> <laughs> we we did so much for for this release though so like yeah maybe maybe you want to do one of yours now patrick before i oh. just continue sharing uh yeah sure so yeah it's like laura so there was a lot of stuff that was done um i think the fields that i was most responsible for in this dlc were uh, the design behind the melee weapons um and the um different attacks that the class the Harvester introduced. Uh, and of course, uh, like Laura, I also worked on a few locations. Um, yeah. But I think, yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of it. The fields, you said, is the, where the tank battle went down? Uh, the, the field, like that one was done by uh, our main world designer, Emil. Uh, but I think what Laura and I helped out with in terms of world design were um, like most of the side mission locations and uh, areas off the beaten path, just uh, mostly explore exploration um, areas. Those are the best yeah. areas, especially in the south coast, because uh, we wanted to have the the feel that Phoenix is advancing in that area. 
and really show that Phoenix has taken over a lot of places and, and built their own stuff instead. Um, so we were helping out there. It looks mm. awesome though. I think everyone did a really, really good job with that. Thank you. <laughs> hmm, am I playing on the lowest difficulty now since I just one shot their arms off? Hmm. Well, that's maybe soon. No, I didn't one shot his arm off. It looked like I did though. Oh, Lucid, I would love to get a love letter from you. <laughs> I would be so happy. I would put it on my desk. Um, and I would look at it every day and just think of how much I also love you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's how Are sweet you are. Are you going to get here. a lot of love letters now? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. I'll save every send each it. one of them. Yeah, they can send all it to send the it. office so they can throw them. <laughs> so they can throw the them. <laughs> Isn't that what you do with love letters? You throw them? <laughs> no, usually you keep you. them for a while, then you set them on fire, uh. I've heard. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Sounds very Swedish. <laughs> oh yeah, no scope. Um. All right. Oh, Scott, don't, no dick pics, though, please. Nah, that was a bit rough. I also want the love letter from you, Scott. I'd love it. <sighs> <sighs> so where do I send the love letters? Oh, oh, yo, yo, I, I want the, uh, you can print the meme and send to me. I think if you go to the Avalanche website, you can, you can check out the, the, the mail address there. I don't have it in my head, uh, but it would be awesome though. It would be so much fun and everyone else would be so jealous of me. They already are though, but still. Uh, nothing is more Swedish than yeeting meatballs at robots. Ooh. That's true, though. But <laughs> Patrick is like, oh, next, next weapon. <laughs> <laughs> a meatball gun, you say? <laughs> oh, that would be super awesome. But none of you guys are from Sweden, though, right? No. No, no. Uh, so I'm from the. I'm actually originally from the U.S. Oh, you uh, are. I moved. Uh, yeah, I moved to Sweden ten years ago, though. I or thought you were kind of like uh, from Germany or something like that, but wow, the no. more you know. Where uh, in the US? Uh, so I'm from uh, Colorado. Oh, right that's cool middle. though. That's cool. Mm. It's been a while since I visited though. So. Wow, Colorado, Rocky Mountains, all that kind of nice stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Did mm. you go skiing there a lot? Well, funny enough, I n <laughs> I've never skied before. So I kind of missed out on that when I was younger, unfortunately. Even, even here in Sweden, you haven't skied? Yeah, even here in Sweden, I haven't skied yet. Uh, I've, I've ridden on one of those, uh, what are you, those little wagons that you go down the hill with? Uh, oh, like a, like a pulka? Pulka, yeah, I've ridden on a pulka before. <laughs> that's, that's funny though, Oh, they, but they're, like, they're life-threatening. Like they're, <laughs> like, they're <what>? dangerous <laughs> because you can't really stare them, and if you want to stare them, you put your hands in the snow, which is like yeah, oof. Whoa. really fun though. So there was actually quite a quite a funny uh, question here from Mr. Uh, Mark and she's uh, asking you guys because one of the love letters apparently mentioned a job in the Swedish city Malmo. Is that a secret note to our other second extinction dev team? don't think so <laughs> <laughs> but sure <laughs> yes well, that was the is. thought behind it <laughs> oh that's so sweet though big shout out to the malma crew yes. doing awesome uh, awesome work that's so considerate of you and, and 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 naming them in our in our beautiful game mm -hmm. all right let's see i'm usually the worst using all these kind of minds and stuff so let's see if we can actually do something with this guy oh no what happened to that dude oh, really am i p i didn't even get to use my mines man this uh, 50 50 cal is mean like oh no now the other dude just so maybe I should also set my game to private. 
fucking kick that dude. <laughs> Sven, bye bye Sven, even though I love you, you're out. Like that. Also, if you didn't notice, that's a, a, a little uh, a little bug we had um, that we also mentioned. So if you don't want random people called Sven joining your games, uh, don't forget to set them as invite only. Yeah, too bad for you guys in the in the in the chat that no one of you uh, thought about that and joined me for a, a, a quick little game. But uh, yeah, put F in chat for Sven. <laughs> and I, maybe I should have kept him here. Eh. It's too late now. So, you guys don't have anything else more fun you want to share? I can tell you um, that my right foot just fell asleep. It's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> wake it up! Wake it up! <laughs> wake it up! Wake up! Uh, so, I don't know. I'm thinking... So, I've gone through my background. Do you want to... Say a little bit more about yourself, Laura. Oh, sure. Like where you're from? Uh, yeah, I'm from Germany actually, and I I moved to Sweden I think six or seven years ago. Uh, I was studying in Germany before I was studying PR, public relations, Ooh. and yeah, <laughs> and then I moved here to Sweden and I was working in sales and communication for a bit. And then I got to know about Future Games, uh, which is a game school here in Sweden, in Stockholm. And I applied and I got into the game design class and yeah, studied game design there. Then did an internship at uh, Avalanche in QA and yeah, then stayed there afterwards. That's cool. Hey, Analyst Prime, I didn't see your question. Can you put it there again and we'll try to, to answer that? What human language do you all use around <laughs> office? Uh, we speak Klingon, actually. Yeah, every day it's Klingon. Which is uh, kind of cool that you first have to learn Klingon, but then when you do, it's it's super fun. Um, no, but seriously, we speak uh, English, uh, pretty much everyone. And since we got so many people coming from all around the world, um, I think it's about 30-35% of everyone who works here at Avalanche uh, is from outside of Sweden. Which makes it super fun because everyone got so much different experiences and all that. And you can see on stream, I'm the only only Swede here. Even though Patrick been living here for 10 years. Um, <laughs> and Laura quite a long time too, so they're, they're kind of semi-Swedish. But yes, we speak English. Yep. Uh, do I like cheese? Yes, cheese <laughs> is nice. Mm. It's the best. Do you like maple syrup? Oh, that that's quite nice. <laughs> yeah, that's like my top one. Like the best thing I I know in in probably the whole wide world of French toast. Oh yes. And with oh. French toast, you have a lot of maple syrup. And some butter also, if you want to be really, really decadent. But uh, yes, I l maple syrup is the best. Thank Canada for that. <laughs> Pontus, where can I get that sick haircut? Oh, you'll have to... <laughs> it's years and years and years of receding hairline. <laughs> so you have to work on it. Maybe you should uh, start yeah. a wig production company. <laughs> we used yeah. to have a really <laughs> nice good. wig here, though, but it kind of disappeared. This was a, this was yeah, the, the mullet, right? Yeah, a blonde mullet. Yeah. I, I, I don't know where it where it went though, um, but we used to have one. Oh, nice glasses. Maybe I should go out and and buy some more prop for the studio. Yes. <laughs> but uh, yes, but you'll have to wear it then when we come <laughs> back here. That's fine. I can wear a wig. No problem. Pontus is molding, yeah. <laughs> so analyst, here do we here we go? How do new changes work? Can you exit the game and it still counts as killing X amount of machines without damage? Why don't disabling or using gas canisters sometimes advance the counters? For the challenges. Oh, that's a, a uh, tricky one. Sorry. For you, I think. 
Yeah, right. I think this is on one of my challenge trees. I'm trying to find. Yeah, the let me yeah, let you, me you, scroll you, up you, so you can see the question. It should oh. be on, on like the middle of the screen there from Analyst Prime. Thank you. Thank Forgot you. to mention your challenge tree. Oh right, you're oh, right. Oh really? Yeah, Tell us about on that. One of the challenge trees. <laughs> um, so I worked on one of the challenge trees as well. Uh, um, let me just get through this question. Uh, so Alex yeah. Prime asks, how do the new challenges work? Can you exit the game and it still counts as killing X machines without taking damage? Uh, yes, it should. Um, why don't disabling or using gas canisters sometimes advance the counters? Um, if using gas canisters to kill the machines doesn't advance the counter, the counter then we may have a bug. Um, but it should. <laughs> So that's something we can look into. So yeah. That's a good answer though. I like the pancakes versus waffles. If you had to choose pancakes <laughs> or waffles, because I've, I've oh. been having a waffle craving lately, even though I, I'd, I'd rather say pancakes. Waffles, hands down. I mean, really? you, need, you need that crunch. Like true, but have you you know the Swedish pancakes, not the American pancakes. I ooh, I don't like American pancakes, but the Swedish ones, you know, are kind of really thin and and crispy, and you know, a lot of butter. Oh, but those are more like crepes then, aren't they? Yeah, but yeah, it's a crepe, but without like mushrooms or or <laughs> stuff in it. <laughs> it's not crap. <laughs> come on, Laura, come on. People are watching eat, this. Grow up. I eat pancakes every morning with Nutella on top. Really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I had this illusion that you were super healthy, but apparently not. No, that's just because I'm thin. <laughs> and and how could you... <laughs> Actually, how, I'm super unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> when do you need to get up super early if you're supposed to like make pancakes each morning? No, I'm also cheap and I just buy the ready-made ones from the store, <gasps> oh put them in the God. microwave, and two minutes later they're done and I just put on my Nutella. And I have breakfast. Yeah, I don't know what I think about that. Maybe it's time for you to go back to Germany. <laughs> Sorry, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, or I'll, I'll give you... A, I'll let it slide for this this once. But if I hear that shenanigans again, I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> I actually have a question for Patrick. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, damn. A developer to a developer <laughs> uh -oh. question. Yes. Because right. uh, uh, I think it was for the last patch, you made a location that we called the Bear Cave. And I was wondering <laughs> if people have actually found that location. I'm actually quite curious about that as well. Because um... I've been. So, what I do frequently is I look through uh, the Reddit threads uh reddit generation zero threads i look through like youtube video comments like the never S infinite uh videos and like i'm still waiting for someone to post anything about the bear cave yeah so uh, oh. guys have anyone found the, the the bear cave yet then this is interesting i don't think i found it but uh, people are are usually pretty notorious um about yeah, finding that's why I was stuff wondering. in the game. Nay, no, I haven't seen anything about it, so... Me neither, I'm when I think curious. about I think it. It looks like Tenebris Infinite, who's actually in the chat, uh, has found it. Yeah, some <laughs> oh, people okay. might have. Is that a cool place, I guess? It, it is. Is it it's far a, from where I am? It's a unique place. It's in the archipelago region. Right. Um, I'm not going to go back and look. No, it's quite far. <laughs> But yeah, I'd say it's in the it's in the end reaches of the archipelago, right before you get to or Oh yeah, maybe you could fast travel there. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's gonna be very hard to to guide you. Yeah, there. maybe we should we should let people find that for themselves. Even though I, you guys will need to show me when we're done with this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'd say that my my specialty when it comes to world design has been introducing very um out there locations yeah so people who found like the bear cave or like the uh haunted forest um i, I won't give one. more info than that but yeah. <laughs> like those locations are sort of in my field yeah that's 
That's awesome. I remember when we had you on stream with Alpine and Rest, and you showed the, the tick cave. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, that one, that one too. Yeah, that, that one. That was <laughs> that was a fun one. All right, now oh, wow. someone's gonna get angry at me. So let's see, but I don't see any friends uh, around here. That maybe I should have kept Sven in the game so he can help me out here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Sven is okay. Yeah, poor Sven. Sven, if you're in chat, do make yourself uh, visible. I wanna ask for forgiveness. I hope he found some friends to play with. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I should actually try to see where I'm aiming at. If I can take out anything. Oh no, these mines, I do not. Oh no, there's actually two of them. Oh no. This is not a, a really good place to hide either. Trapped between a fence and a hard place. No. But he seems to be kind of not seeing me, so... Now it's all up to my super awesome aim. Oh, did I shoot it off? Hopefully, nope. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm watching the stream with a delay, so I'm uh, waiting for yeah. the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's Are a bit strange sure hearing the, <laughs> the sounds, but seeing like a delayed video on, on yeah. the sides. Oop! Oh no! Now there's a. Uh... Oh no! Oh no! All right, let me be scoot off a bit. See if we can take some cover. Oh! Yeah. Where did the seeker go though? I will put him out first. Ooh, this is a nice aircraft. Oh no! Oh no! And then there's a... Come here, ticky ticky. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny if you're watching with delay though. Yeah. Yeah. You, have you I want to react to it, but <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, I caught him. Oh no. Oh no. Man, the shock is this pretty good actually. I barely use the shotguns because I don't know if it's. I don't like them. I barely use shotguns in any game. Really? Mm, nah, I'm not a big fan of shotguns either. I, like uh, I, guns I don't know why though, but it, 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 it's super rarely because you don't have range. I'm more of a. I, I want range. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm more like I, I run in and just shoot everything in front of me. Yeah. And we. Um, like, I, I didn't used to like shotguns, but then I, when I was uh, QA on Rage 2, uh, I really started to love shotguns because the shotgun in that game is really, really fun to play with. So now, whenever I play games, I actually play a lot with shotguns. Okay, alright, let's hit the seeker with the sledgehammer. Yes! Come at me! No! Now I'm just running around swinging in our. There's another one too, though. Oh. The seekers are the worst. I truly hate them. I, I last time uh, I was watching the stream and uh, you were hitting the the seekers with a sledgehammer, and I was like, oh yeah, that's that's a good idea for like a future thing, achievement, challenge, or whatever. So I was writing down notes, and like I really like watching streams for that reason because then you just kind of see what people are doing, what what could be a cool thing to do for later. So that's going in my notepad. And oh, that's uh, nice. Maybe it will come up in the future. Who knows? That would be fun, though. So yeah. I got another question here. Uh, any, how we thought about the crafting for medical supplies? That's not a bad idea either, right? Sounds pretty cool. Could I, be something I could have. I would like to craft a, a, a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Just to throw it at Seekers. Well, yeah, or anywhere. <laughs> I would set like I, I, I would set the most things on fire. I think. Throw them on cars. Throw them on machines. Throw them on 
other players. Throw them on Sven. <laughs> not Sven. No, not poor baby Sven. I would never that's, throw. That's, throw don't take it too far. <laughs> <laughs> well, he came uninvited, so. But uh, usually you can't really choose the game you're joining, right? If you're not playing with friends, if you just yeah. join game. So maybe it wasn't his fault. So I'm not gonna blame Sven for that. Oh, hey CS here, what's up buddy? <laughs> Is Pontus a pyromaniac? No, he just likes setting <laughs> things on fire. <laughs> Is that why isn't, I isn't that the <laughs> <laughs> Is that why I keep smelling smoke coming from the bathroom every time? Oh, uh, that's you... a, it's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell HR though. <laughs> Boom, I just love how how the stuff breaks when you shoot at it. This mines though I do not like or approve of. Will there be a, a tree for crafting or something? Have we have we thought about that? A challenge tree for crafting or doing those kind of things more than killing stuff or completing stuff? Yeah, I mean that's definitely something that we might look at for the future. Oh, um, oh how can there be so many of them? Because we we have a lot of uh, things now regarding missions or yeah, killing things, destroying stuff. So why not? I love to see that. I mean. Or maybe not go collect 5,000 of thread or. Please do that. Can we have uh, collect 1 million <laughs> pieces of metal? <laughs> I will. Oh, uh, no. I will make that an achievement and name it Pontus asked for this. <laughs> Bl blame Pontus. Blame Pontus. <laughs> oh, that would be fun letter. though. Oh, people if will you be... get this achievement, send him a love letter. That's what I'm gonna name the achievement. <laughs> oh, people would be so upset. Imagine grinding <laughs> for that. But it, it would be worth it, though. Maybe if, if you actually manage to do that, you would get a, a, a signed note from me. I would sign. I would send you a love letter. That would be. <laughs> Oh, that attack is insane! Come on! I don't even have med packs, do I? Oh, come on! I need, I need health. Don't shoot me. Is the idea of experimental attachments possible? Well, we talked about that quite a lot of times, and uh, well, both both Paul and Bjorn and Greg thought it sounded interesting. So. We'll I'm see. going to say I agree with them. I find it very interesting. It would be kind of cool though. We got some some attachments that that are kind of experimental, I'd say, like the, that IR thingy um, and those kind of stuff. But yeah, some really super experimental stuff to put on would be cool. Maybe grenades. I got grenades now. <laughs> Look at this. But first, let's heal. Come at me, bro. You got your fire stompy attack thingy, and I've got my nade attack thingy. Oh. I'm just gonna stand there, come at me. Yep, no damage. <laughs> Too bad. Alright, this is quite interesting that you might uh, know about, um, or maybe this is more of a of some other guy question, but can you please expand storage to backpack capacity and reduce the weight of the ammo? How much does ammo weight? And the thing is, I think I loot and loot and loot, but my inventory, I've got plenty of space though. Mm -hmm. I'd say this is more a question for Bjorn. Yeah, pretty but much. That was what I was thinking. Yeah. It's feedback we can take onto the team, or bring up the team. So. Oh no, this mines. I do not like that. <laughs> if you want us to find that much thread, you should turn up at our house with the maid outfit. <laughs> Well, then it's gonna be ma five million uh, thread pieces that you need to collect, and also and you, you need to... to pay for the trip and the maid outfit. But yeah, yeah you have to sue the 
the tray, uh, the maid outfit <laughs> with the thread. That yeah, well. that. And then I, I promise you, I will, I will show up, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Attachable grenade launcher. Yeah, that would be kind of cool, I guess. That you can attach to your, uh, like the AK or the AG or. Man, the range on this gun is pretty good, actually. That's why, as I said, that's why I barely use um, shotguns because of the range. But uh, the Sjöqvist is pretty awesome. Maybe start using that more since uh, it seems to be quite easy to find ammunition for it. Oh no, I'm on fire also, of course. No, don't let me die. Alright, maybe you guys know about this, or if this is more of a QA question. Back when the game came out, uh, many had problem with the R1 button. So I guess if this is a control question, and the R1 being then the, the small right button. Um, I had to remap my controller in the PlayStation menu. Has this been patched? And when the game came out, it was a, a, a long time ago, so I, I, I guess. But do you guys know about that? I have no idea. I am not sure. I usually play the game with the mouse and keyboard as well. <laughs> yeah, I have actually haven't tried it on console yet, even though I, I got it. Uh, so that's a good question, but since it was a long, long time ago, it, it's most definitely fixed, I'd say. I'd say, not like... Oh, come on. Where did all the little doggo co come from? Oh, all out of ammo. Devs, the military tank has a both mortar launcher and apocalypse tank cluster mine launcher and uses both. Please fix this bug. Is that hmm. something you heard about or is uh, no, it intended I or? can't say I've heard anything from QA about it, but it, we can take a look uh, and try to get it fixed as soon as possible. That's cool. Hopefully, I don't know if Francis is watching. Hopefully, she is. I told her that uh, that we should roast Francis on uh, <laughs> on stream, but I I can't. She just got the most beautiful smile, um, <laughs> so it's hard to to be to roast her. But a big shout out to our amazing Q8 team, though. Yes. And actually soon we will have some help from two awesome people from the GC forum that will help us with some QA testing, so big shout out Ooh. to them too. So we do love all the help that we can, can get from our, our dear players. Yep. This is something I'm unaware of, but a lot of people in chat are asking you to show your cat punches. I don't have a cat though, why? <laughs> <laughs> Where did they get it's that everyone. idea from? <laughs> are, are they playing us? Are they playing some... I don't know. I don't have a cat. I wish I had though. I want the cat. <laughs> I do have a rabbit. What? Oh. Yeah, well on my arm. Oh. oh. Can, can you see it? No. Maybe... Uh, nah, nah, sorry. But he lost his, his, he lost his paw. <laughs> Yeah, someone wanted it for good luck, and I, I was stuck with the bad luck, so... Um, what were I supposed to do here? Yeah, per some meds. Um, so, how much uh, how much uh, HP do I get from these medkits, do you guys know? So what's... From the... From the deployable ones. Deployable ones. Let's say 54 plus, all right, so 15 for each. What's that? That's 45. If my calculations are correct. Where did all these crazy cats come from? Yeah, pl what, what's uh, her name? Jody? Mm-hmm. Oh, she's back. 
Man, I need, I need to get a cat. They're so expensive though. Like, even though you want a cat from one of these shelters, you have to pay about 2,500 or about 250 yeah. dollars, which is quite a lot. And insurance and food. Oh, they can't eat human food, you mean? <laughs> ah, just I mean... kidding. Of course they need the cat food. Oh, this is interesting that I haven't heard about either. It's a bug though, but Patrick and, and, and Laura maybe. Uh, dead tanks respawn with no weapons and can still shoot and take no damage. Oh, this is also a bug that I I have I, I haven't heard but... anything about that at... Now I can't, can I walk here? Yeah. Um, really interesting to hear about. Um, some more info on that would be sweet. So if you could pop on to uh, onto social and write like what are you playing on platform and all those kind of stuff. Um, a bit more, it would be super awesome to have a look at that. Zombie tanks. Aren't all tanks zombies, I guess? Maybe they aren't. Uh, oh, it's a multiplayer glitch. All right. And I'm on fire. Why do we want to set me on fire? I haven't done anything to him besides shooting him. So will I ever manage to take him out? First of all. Oh no! This looks dangerous. Wow, I just love how the screen just the screen just shakes. Like what happened? Did I get a, some kind of attack? Uh, let's see some more packs. Oh, I had them already. Nice. Uh, four. Uh, I had a side mission where I had to find a bridge and destroy all of the enemies, but they were all in the water, so I could do no damage. Oh, I that seems... Uh, not very nice. Is that one of the mm. new ones? I think that's one of the the, the old uh, or old but base game missions that you go to that bridge and clear it. Okay. I haven't heard about any of that either. I will I will take that down and send it along. Community given name. It does not exist. Uh, what were we talking about then, Alias? What about the snöskoter on uh, Himla Fled? Yeah, we uh, we discussed a lot of other vehicles, um, actually. It would be fun to see all of those kind of things. The flock moppe, maybe as, and, uh, the old snöskoters uh, are, are pretty cool, not the new ones. So we get another question from Mixer. We, we uh, talked about this a bit before, Bad Basil, and he asked anyone know when the DLC is available for console. And if you uh, read the, the the letter from the team that we posted this uh, this last Friday, um, we still have some bugs for console that we need to fix. Some specific bugs for console that we uh, need to iron out first. Um, but as soon as we know about the console, you will know. I promise you that. Wait, what? You guys stream the game? Yes, this is awesome. Yes, we do, Sileri. And today we got two super awesome cool friends of mine who's joining, who's actually been the one working with the game. Uh, me, I'm just talking to people, doing all kind of other stuff. But they actually made stuff for the game in the game that you can play. So go ahead and ask them uh, all the questions you've been, you've been longing to ask. While I try to take out this uh, this dawn rival, which isn't going super well, I guess. Increased level cap in the future. That's also a topic we talked about maybe five, six hundred times. Um, <laughs> maybe one day we'll do that. Um, there's a lot of things depending on that, though. How how you can do it good. How we'll 
to be, because we still want people to have to make choices, you know, it's not fun if you can do everything all the time, you will be so overpowered that the game would kind of lose some of its charm. Um, so that's my answer to that. Is throwable sticky grenade? Oh no, oh no. Uh, is throwable sticky, throwable slack grenade sticking to the player one of the bugs you're fixing on console? Is that still a thing? I thought it was a uh, super long time ago that that was addressed. But yeah, it should definitely be fixed if it's still there. The experimental drop rates are bad. To be honest, they're super high and we put them even higher. If you don't get experimental, it's bad luck. I believe you, there's no other game with drop rates that high. That's what I'm gonna say about that. But yes, when I heard the percentage of getting an experimental weapon, I was kind of shocked. And I, I thought we should lower them. So that maybe that says a lot. I think I need to be more aggressive with this fella. Yeah, you've been uh, fighting this guy for a while now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm also on fire, damn it. Damn it. I w come on, load more than one slug, please. Do you have any experimental weapons on you? On this? No, to be honest, on this save I'm not even uh, level 25 yet, I think. Oh, okay. So that's why. But otherwise, yeah, I wish I had the, the experimental LMG. Oh, what's that? Some green goo just... <laughs> poured out of him. I think that's a good sign. Yeah, probably. Where's the sledgehammer at? Oh no, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> 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 oh no. One, will fall damage be fixed? I think fall damage is as intended, right? It's pretty heavy, but you know, try... Uh, Try doing that in real life, you know, jumping off a cliff and see if you. No, don't, don't try it. No, <laughs> don't. Uh, sorry, don't, don't, don't do that. Listen to Laura. Don't, don't jump off a, a, a rooftop or whatever. Um, but yes, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty accurate though. Like most things in this game are, and if you, you know, if you can jump from from buildings and all stuff like that, it gets maybe a bit more arcadey than you want. You mad Tenebri. I'm not mad trying to take out the rival with the with the sledgehammer. You mad. <laughs> Would be nice if you implemented the ability to respec skill points. What are, are your thoughts about that guys? My thought is that if you uh, what you say in Sweden we have a saying some abedda for man ligga like how you make your bed is how you sleep <laughs> or something like that um, but yeah I, I kinda get it but what do you guys think about that being able to respect your your skills mm. I mean I think in general it's nice especially if you want to play with the same character for a longer time um, but of course it also gives you some advantages, um, for example, if you are suddenly able to um, lockpick uh, and you couldn't do that before, um, so it hmm, has good and, and bad sides, I think. That's bam, bam. Oh no, the jump attacks are always so super burden. What are the bike skins to be used for? Well, they changed the color of the bike, I guess. <laughs> um, other than that, do they do they have any specific use? No. Like the, no, the bike skins is in the different colored bikes. It's just aesthetics, really. Yep. Yeah, I, I was so happy when I got the green bike. <laughs> is that your favorite color? Well, it's green and white almost, like my favorite too. Um, <laughs> So of course I was happy about that. Hmm. 
I have all this cat hair stuck to me now. Oh no! Stuck to my face. <laughs> 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 it's just making me itch everywhere. That's too bad, though. Does she lose a lot of hair? Is it uh, is it the summertime hair coming? Yeah. Or is it the winter hair falling off? Yeah, exactly. And I was brushing her earlier, and I had like two full brushes just full of her hair. It, it was it was horrible. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that from only a cat. God damn it! When it turned from like spring to summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Lucy. The Hammarby, one life, one team, as we say. I am the best team. Oh, I actually had some kind of mission here. That's interesting. What's this? Sy och sticka. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a, a, a crafting thing. Nice. Oh no. Me and cars, come on, I should know better. He got EMP the dog. I should know better. It's always the same thing. Oh, here I can hide. Oh, I couldn't. Is there anyone else around? What's inside? Uh, why do Apocalypse Hunters able to use flamethrower and burn us through walls? Um, I think that's a bit of a, a, a minor bug, perhaps. Uh, I think I remember having a discussion with uh, a few people on the team about that, and that is a bug. If it, it, it might still be happening, but yeah, we'll also look into it. Yeah, I, I think that's something that we're working on. We, we had a little issue where they could teleport through walls also, Scra scared the, the living heck out of me a couple of times. Um, but some, th some things can be really, really hard to actually reproduce and and figure out how what's what's wrong. Um, that's why we love the when it happens to you, if it happens to you, the more info you give us, the easier it will be for us to actually fix those kind of things. Do we yep. want me to craft? I don't want to craft. I'm not gonna craft now, I wanna shoot things. Craft I do when no one's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what's this kind of cool place? This is awesome though. Bodil and Kalle's unsolved files! Oh! Ooh. If anyone uh, saw Kalle's post, I think he mentioned Bodil in one of those. That she was right all along. That those damn aliens are uh, were out to get us. Oh, so this is this is cool though. Oh damn, this is awesome. I love this. I love this. And the lighting. Ooh. Ah, binoculars. I have. So we actually, we had Greg on here last week and he talked a bit about Kalle and all that kind of stuff. Uh, how was it when, when to actually, did you work together with him to kind of fit his narrative stories into, into your like storytelling in the world? Mm, I think for my end, <laughs> actually a funny little story is that because my locations are quite out there, I always try my best to talk with Greg and make sure I'm not going too out of bounds, which occasionally might have happened a few times. <laughs> um, but uh, I think uh, you, Laura, have had more talks with him since you were thinking a lot on collectibles and the such. Yeah, exactly. Um, the collectibles in the South, in, in the south Coast, um, they are very lore based and very like yeah very narrative focused um so i was talking to greg um regarding his ideas what he thinks and i had some ideas um so we came up with a with a character um so that those collectibles follow one character um that is venturing down the south coast and uh for that i really needed to look into the the timeline of the game the backstory what was happening what the character was doing while this other stuff was happening um so i was uh, working a lot with greg on that um and making sure that everything made sense and that uh yeah people could enjoy the story without yeah it just not making sense with the rest of the game that's fun though and, and for me being well, not part of the dev team actually, but um, 
about the marketing team. I so love every chance I get to work with you guys. Mm -hmm. It's always so much fun. Oh, another Magnus. Uh, I already got one though. But yeah, if you didn't know, Magnus is my favorite gun. Maybe I should <laughs> equip it or just do the sledgehammer. Yeah, let's do, do the sledgehammer. First of all, maybe see if I can find my way out of here. Puffy says, I had to hurry home just to say this. Devs introducing introduce pacing for stories so the emotions don't just all come at once and go away too fast. Also some visual flair for story would be nice. Yeah, that's great input though. And yeah, it can be quite of overwhelming sometimes. I can say like when I played the last mission here on stream a couple of uh, weeks ago and I was like, oh no, and all this kind of stuff can really hit you like this sledgehammer I'm holding. But it is nice though when you when you play a game and you get really really emotional like that. <laughs> yeah, that was actually one point that we were looking into for the South Coast collectibles, um, to just have a few story beats and like there's one moment where the story kind of turns and then hopefully uh, players will feel something and, and care for the character and and oh, the story. Oh, so. it's love letters right i can only imagine oh no no those are not the love letters oh, so all right. those Oof, are, okay. are different ones but those are of course very emotional as well pontus can you tell me happy birthday and or put me in the game well i don't think we're gonna put you in the <laughs> game buddy but happy birthday scott how how old do you uh, do you turn happy 12th birthday maybe or a bit older i don't know Uh, let's see. So it's starting to get time to wrap up because I actually have a meeting now at five, so we can't uh, run over as we usually do. Um, so make sure hit us up with the uh, with some qu your last questions. We got about two and a half more minutes before it's time. Ooh. Oh, it's fifteen, Scott. Well, happy fifteenth birthday then. Welcome to manhood. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Pontus, don't know. life was different <laughs> than most. <laughs> yes. Uh, if if you ever seen Batman, it was kind of like that. So okay. I, I, I had to grow up really, really fast. Oh. <laughs> uh, not funny, Mark. <laughs> Uh, not funny. We don't joke about that. Oh no, what happened here with cars? Was a blast as always. Thank you, Patrick and Laura, for coming through to today's stream. S stream. Mm -hmm. stream. <laughs> yes, I like joining the, the stream. Yeah, you're usually here in yeah. the chat, right? Yeah. I think I see <laughs> you here. Trolling Paul. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all just love to troll Paul? <laughs> oh, he made such a the best quote today that we all should use. And like, we asked him how 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 he was, and he said, "Things are things." That's like <laughs> the most neutral comment I've I've heard wow. in quite a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have no strong opinions in either way. Super neutral. Will you add more five crown weapon spawns? I don't know how it is with with spawns nowadays. Do you guys uh, know anything about that? Like, uh, how often do do things respawn out in the world? And uh, uh, or is that also more of a Bjorn thing? I think that's more of a Bjorn thing. Oh, okay. I I recall discussions on that, but I'm not gonna say anything since I'm not too certain. <laughs> Yeah, we'll we'll bring uh, we're gonna circulate. Hopefully, we're gonna have a lot more guests, and we'll come back to Bjorn. So save that question to mm -hmm. to to him, or yeah. I'll try to yeah. figure it out. Maybe any Maybe. last game designer kind of cool storytelling things <laughs> out in the world that you wanna ask? Oh, uh, I just remembered something. Oh, um, tell us, tell us. But but I'm so I, I realize that I've been telling everyone that I've been making mostly the really random me locations out in the world. Um, but I have made some 
some of the serious locations and more of the storytelling locations as well. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if anyone finds a breakable uh, wall in the war trenches in the farmlands. A breakable war wall, you said. Hmm. Yeah, I got a little inspired by uh, Doom and how they have their secrets, so I made one little tiny breakable wall somewhere in the trenches. Oh, so. I just love that. Everyone, mm -hmm. go find that. Post it uh, <laughs> on, on Discord or anything. I want to see that. I, I didn't know, and I haven't explored that area, really. Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. Tenebrae maybe do a video on that. Uh, <laughs> there was one thing that they, that they hadn't, find, uh, hadn't found. That's awesome, though. That's really, really funny. Um, anyway... First of all, thanks a lot to Laura and uh, Dr. Patrick for joining us today. Uh, thanks to all of you guys for joining us today. It's been a blast. Um, you know all the rules. Stay out of trouble. Drink a lot of water. Be nice to each other. Um, wear a mask. Uh, wear a mask and don't try... Uh, don't listen to me when I tell you to try stupid stuff. So don't jump <laughs> off a cliff. Um, anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Take care. And uh, we'll see each other next week. Bye. Well, thank you. Thank